Okay, so this is another one of my messy drawings. Uh, for those who are familiar with my videos, uh, they would know them and be familiar with them. Uh, for those who don't, well, I don't know what to tell you. I had a previous uh, channel, Nimpo Warrior G, and uh, I don't know exactly what happened with it, whether Google canceled it or someone else tried to compromise it or hack it. I'm not really sure what the situation is, but uh, I'm not impressed. I'm just going to keep doing my thing. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, so this, this drawing is... I put everything, I attempted to put everything, all of my ideas pertaining to magnetism, to condense them into seven principles and to put most of them on a single uh, page and uh, a second page. And then I did another little drawing that kind of shows, gives a sense of what it might look like in reality. So I just want to go through each of the ideas uh, systematically. Hopefully my videos will remain on YouTube, the previous Nimpo Warrior G ones. And if you um, are familiar with them and you're interested in them, I highly recommend that you try to download them, save them, and secure them in as many locations as possible. So at least the ones that are most relevant, the magnetic stuff, the spiritual stuff, and uh, things like that. So uh, just putting it out there, just being honest. So... Um, first, the, the basic concept, the first concept is, is that there are magnetic particles. Um, and my kind of theory at this point is that the magnetic part particles are, you have two types of magnetons, and then what comes out of them is electrons, photons, protons, neutrons. Now, I've been looking at the other physics theories, and I'm kind of curious if they parallel or if they diverge. I'm not really sure. So... But that's my basic concept at this point as far as magnetic particles. I may be mistaken on, you know, the particle stuff. But um, that's one of the concepts of, of uh, kind of a complete picture of magnetism. Now, with magnetic particles, um, regardless of what the facts are regarding them, you still are going to have two magnetic spins, uh, one that is north, one that is south, one that is clockwise, one that is anti-clockwise. So you always have two spins regardless of what you call it, a muon, a gluon, or whatever the hell you call it. So that's just a fact. My theory is that each of the spins, north and south, one of them emits, helps to emit or release or generate electrons, one photons. That may be accurate, it may be inaccurate. Uh, the magnetic spin theory comes from Albert Roy Davis and Walter C. Rawls. And the, as I said, the, clock, the spins are clockwise and anti-clockwise. And this, the theory is, is that this is going on on all scales, all in all structures, that there's something that I call pan-magnetism going on, meaning that all is magnetism or all everything is a magnet. Um, the next thing is, once you, you go from magnetic particles, magnetic spins, to magnetic current flows. This is very important. This is where it starts to get interesting and predictive. Um, you have uh, three types of magnetic current flows. You have diamond, which are these, you can see at the bottom here, are these, these four north and four south di uh, diamond magnetic uh, current flows and then you have these diagonal north and south and then you have these double helix or zigzag or whatever you want to call them where you have a north the north current flow you know south etc and you have vertical and horizontal now what's interesting is um, there's one more extension of this idea of magnetic current flows which I hadn't really touched on previously but now I kind of started to see it when you start to play it out on a larger scale you have magnetic waves. And so I'm not sure how they flow exactly, um, but but presumably you're going to have, I have these arrows and I've separated north and south, so you have these kind of waves of magnetic current flows really going like this, you know, north and south. And so that just gives you an idea, maybe makes you dizzy, gives you a sense of it. Um, then you have... Um, 
something that's that I think is new that I added in in a previous video that's very important and it's a correct understanding of how magnetic interactions occur um, that the terms attractive repulsive may actually be inaccurate and the correct terms may be reactive and compulsive because when you look at what I've drawn here when you bring the two south poles together the the two magnets shoot off in different directions well that doesn't seem like repulsion that's a reactive force that's two spins uh, meeting each other and they just interact in a way that they shoot off in different directions very not much different than anything else we see in physics likewise and these are, this is magnets specifically I'm talking about magnet interactions you know what we see with magnets so then you have this compulsive kind of thing where you take the opposite spins north and south you bring them together and the magnets are compelled to come together well again each of these instances the, the reactive uh, and the compulsive kind of things rather than the attractive and the repulsive um, what you're seeing is magnetic proof evidence in magnets of magnetic current flows and that's that's my basic uh, premise now the next thing is okay after you have you have magnetic particles magnetic spins magnetic current flows magnetic interactions and as I said you know magnetic waves um, you you then you, you go a step further and you develop magnetic structures and so all of these kind of become magnetic structures now there are a number of different ways to look at it what I've put here is you know three different uh, you know types of human form and, and this is kind of like correlates very directly and actually gives some sort of magnetic theoretical support for the whole notions of Ayurvedic notions of the the uh, Kapha Pitta and Vata body types as well as you know the the endomorph the echo ectomorph the mesomorph those three types psychological types I mean these may actually be evidence of magnetic structures so you have one that's balanced which is kind of like the you know the person that's kind of average build height so on and then you have an unbalanced north which is a real slight kind of individual and then an unbalanced south which is a real big person I may have these mixed up but the point is there's these three mag basic magnetic structures um, now another way to look at magnetic structures is to look at them as magnetic spin structures now this may not be clear in the video what it is I'm trying to show here but what what this is is this is alternating spins so this is alternating north south spins alternating clockwise anti-clockwise so what this is is just a big oval but it's got all kinds of little circles little spins some going you know you, you have clockwise anti-clockwise clockwise anti-clockwise all the way throughout and this is just a kind of visual representation of what a magnetic spin structure looks like and that this basic principle that spin frequencies define um, the electrotonal structure of everything so in other words all these magnetic spins you can call them spin frequencies the, and, and they carry two things they carry information and they carry energy information is spin direction whether clockwise or anti-clockwise and then um, energy is the force of the given spin so depending how much magnetic spin force or magnetic current is localized in a given region or location that's the force the spin force now another way to look at this once you go beyond okay magnetic structures magnetic spin structures another way to visualize this is space as a magnetic lattice and what I have here is just you know north south north south north south you know and, and you can't maybe can't make it out but these are all just you know north and south north and south horizontally and vertically and it's showing that there's this magnetic spin and magnetic current alternation going on at all scales now when you when you overlay this with this kind of principle of magnetic current flows or magnetic waves um, what you're what you're going to see is diagonal flows and 
double helix flows, diamond flows, and I did a little drawing just to kind of illustrate a better, you know, kind of a more sort of a creative sense of it to try to map it out just to show that this is a just a, a rough sense of what it kind of looks like. So you have all these double helix kind of things going on spinning but in the background you have all these diagonals which you can't really see too well in this picture but also if you look closely you have these points where you have these diamond structures as well and so I think that if you account for these three different types of magnetic current flow specifically the diagonal um, and then these diamond kind of shapes and then these double helix structures you can pretty much map out all structures in nature because it, the theory is that they're all based, the whole magnetic lattice and, and, and the whole magnetic structures in any system, any scale, whether you're talking about a sun, a galaxy, uh, an earth, a human being, a tree, they're all based on these magnetic uh, spin frequencies producing, releasing electrons and photons and producing electrophotonic kind of structure, which when you look at our muscles, our musculature, our organs, when you look at uh, crystal structures, um, any number of other structures, they can be defined by and described by all of these kind of uh, magnetic current flows. Not only the two, bilateral symmetry, you can see the left and right you know, spin. You can see spinning out from the center line when you look a clockwise spin and an and a anti-clockwise spin you know, on the left and the right side of the human body. So, I mean, this is evidently, a spin is the correct description of everything. So, then the question is, okay, how do these spins orient themselves, or how do they relate in space, and then how do the forces, the, the particle forces, energy forces, substances flow through them? And that's all this is. It's just a summarization of all the principles and ideas that I had developed over a period of time. So that's about it. This is Ninpo Warrior G. I don't run. I don't hide. I was born free. I will live free. I will die free.